Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is Professor Capco, and in this video we're going to be discussing the gross autopsy rate and how to calculate that. And uh, this is another in the series for the health uh, care, health care statistics class. All right, so we're going to need some data to work with. And so if we had some data from a community hospital that looks like this, for a fictional year from July to December we've got the total inpatient discharges including deaths 724 total inpatient deaths of 19 less than 48 hours included in the total inpatient deaths so it includes these in the 19 and it's 3 and it's got uh, parentheses around it because that means negative so we'd subtract it from the 19 and total autopsies is 6 so we're going to utilize this data uh, to calculate some information here. For example, the formula for using for calculating the gross autopsy rate is going to be the total inpatient autopsies for the period times 100 because we're looking for a percentage. That's your numerator and your denominator. You're going to have total inpatient deaths for the period in the denominator. You're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. All right, so let's first calculate the gross death rate. So if we look back at our data, the total number of deaths we had is 19. So we have 19 deaths as our gross death rate, right? I mean, as our gross deaths. And we want to total, um, well, that's the autopsy rate. So we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it by... 100, bring it down a little bit, 19, and we're going to multiply it by 100 because we're looking for a percentage. So that is going to be equal to 1900 in our numerator. In our denominator, we look at the total inpatient discharges, including deaths, is 724. So that's going to go in our denominator. So we have 1,900 divided by 724. And if you throw that into the calculator, you divide 1,900 by 724, you get 2.62. And since this is, you multiply it by 100, that's a percentage. So it's 2.62%. So it's a little bit less than 3%. So that's the gross death rate. Gross death rate. In this case is 2.62 percent. So then if we're going to figure out the, de the net death rate, we need to subtract out that 3. Remember we had mentioned the three for the less than 48 hours that are included in the total inpatient deaths. We need to subtract that from our 19. So we have 19 minus three, that number times 100. So 19 minus three is 16 times 100 is equal to 1600. That's our numerator. And our denominator we're going to take the same 724 total inpatient discharges, including deaths, and we're going to subtract out that same 3. So on our denominator, we have 721. So 1600 divided by 721 is equal to 2.22. And since we multiplied it by 100, we know that that's a percentage. So our net death rate is going to be 2.22% for this community hospital. And the last thing to calculate for this video is going to be the gross autopsy rate. And... As we talked about the uh, gross 
autopsy rate, we need to take, actually this, I spelt it wrong. Good thing it's not a spelling class. Uh, it's going to be total inpatient autopsies for the period times 100 divided by the to total inpatient deaths for the period. So our total inpatient autopsies from our data, if you recall, is 6. So we're going to multiply that by 100. So I got 6 times 100. And then I'm going to divide it by total inpatient deaths for the period. Total inpatient deaths for the period is 19. So 6 times 100 is 600. And I'm going to divide it by the total inpatient deaths, which is 19. So 600 divided by 19 is 31. 0.58 and since we had multiplied it by 100 we know that this is a percentage so 31.58 is our percentage our gross autopsy rate hopefully you found that helpful if you need help with other math um, or other subjects within this course um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel thank you